Hello class, today we are going to solve a question that has been bringing a lot of difficulties. This question is going to pop up in the screen and uh, let us read it together. Three business partners, Asha, Nangila and Cherop contributed 60,000 shillings, 85,000 shillings and 105,000 shillings respectively. They agreed to put 25% of the profit back into business each year. They also agreed to put aside 40% of the remaining profit to cater for the taxes and insurance. The rest of the profit will then be shared among the partners in the ratio of their contributions. At the end of the first year, the business realized a gross profit of 225,000 Kenyan shillings. Part A of the question says, calculate the amount of money Cherop received more than Asha at the end of the first year. You can pause the video as you go through the question once again. So straight away, we are going to solve the first part of the question, part A. And part A is asking us to calculate the amount of money Cherop received more than Asha at the end of the first year. So we are going to look at each and every individual's contribution to the business. So Asha contributed a total of 60,000 shillings at the beginning. Nangila contributed a total of 85,000 shillings, whereas Cherop contributed a total of 105,000 Kenyan shillings. Now, we also told that at the end of the first year, the business realized a gross profit. So, they realized a gross profit of 225,000 Kenyan shillings. So let us see. Out of these profits, they agreed to put 25% of it into business the following year. So 25% of the profit, which is 225,000, is just the same as 25 over 100 times 225,000. This is equivalent to 56,000 shillings, 250. The remaining amount from the profit, what remained out of that profit, out of the 225,000 shillings, when you remove 25% which is equivalent to 56,250 what remains so this is just 225,000 subtract 56,250 we are going to get here 168,750 Kenyan shillings so this is the remainder after the 25% was kept in business in the following year, or rather invested in the following year. They also agreed to put 40% of the remaining profit to cater for taxes and insurance. So what is the remaining profit? This is the remaining profit. This is the remaining profit. So 40% of this amount of money, they decided it to put it aside for purposes of taxes and insurance. So what is 40% of 168,750? This is just the same as 40 over 100 times 168,750. If we put this in our calculator, we obtain 67,000 500 Kenyan shillings. We obtain 67,500 Kenyan shillings. 
So remember, after 25% of that amount was put aside for investment in the following year, we were left with 168,750. Again, after 40% of this amount of money was put aside, what are we going to be left with? This is what we are going to be left with. 168,750 minus that 40%, which is 67,500. Yeah. When we put this in a calculator, we obtain 101,250. So this is the amount actually that is supposed to be shared according to their ratio of contribution. So let therefore look at their individual ratio of contribution. So what did Asha contribute? What did Nangila contribute and therefore what did Cherop contribute? So we are being told that Asha contributed a total of 60,000 in the beginning. Nangila contributed a total of 85,000 shillings in the beginning whereas Cherop contributed a total of 105,000 Kenyan shillings at the beginning. So when we simplify this to get the simpler ratio, this 0, 0 and 0 can be cancelled. And when we simplify it even further by dividing through by 5, we get the simplified ratio as 12 is to 17 is to 21. So this is the ratio of the individual's contribution. And therefore, what is the total ratio? What is the total ratio? The total ratio is gotten by adding each and every individual's contribution. So if you add 12 plus 17 plus 21, we obtain a total ratio of 50. The question asks us to calculate the amount of money that Cherob received more than Asha. So let us look at their ratio. So Cherob's ratio was 21 out of the total ratio. That is 21 out of 50. So to get the amount of profit that Cherob got is just taking that ratio times the amount of profit that was left. That is 101,000. 250. If we simplify this, we get 42,000 Kenyan shillings, 525. How about Asha's profit? So Asha, remember this is for Cherop. This is for Cherop. How about Asha? Asha's ratio was 12 out of the total ratio now to get the amount that Asha pocketed as a profit we just multiply that by the same 101,250 now what do we obtain when we do so we obtain a total of 24,300 Kenyan shillings so Remember, the question is telling you to calculate the amount of money Cherop received more than Asha, meaning Cherop got a higher amount than Asha. So this was Asha's contributor. Sure. So to get that difference in amount, you take Cherop's amount, subtract Asha's amount. Then we will get the amount of money Cherop received more than Asha. So that becomes 42,525 Kenyan shillings less 24,300 and this gives us a total of 18,000 Kenyan shillings 225. To the end of the first part of this question, part A, the answer is 18,225 Kenyan shillings. The answer. You can also rewatch the video if you didn't understand the first part of the question as I did. Now we are going to look at part B of the question and it says Nangila father invested 
25,000 Kenyan shillings into the business at the beginning of the second year. Given that the gross profit at the end of the second year increased in the ratio 10 to 9. Calculate Nangila's share of the profit at the end of the second year. So 5,000 plus 25,000 Kenyan shillings, which gives us a total of 110,000 Kenyan shillings. So this was Nangila's investment at the beginning of the second year. Now, you will agree that this is going to affect the rate of contribution because already Nangila has topped up in the second year. So let us look at the new rates, the new ratio of contribution. So there were three people actually. Asha's contributions remains the same, that is 60,000. Nangila's contribution is now 110,000, whereas Cherob's contribution remains as it was, and that is 105,000. When we simplify this ratio, we obtain 12 is to 22 is to 21. So this is the ratio of their contribution at the beginning of the second year. So the total ratio is just gotten by adding the individual ratio. And in that case, when we add 12 plus 22 plus 21, we obtain a total ratio of 65. After that, we are going to get the new gross profit. We are going to get the new gross profit because the question is telling us that given that the gross profit at the end of the second year increased in the ratio 10 is to 9 so the new gross profit becomes 10 over 9 times the old gross profit old gross profit which was actually 225,000 as we saw in part A of the question. 225,000 was the old gross profit as we saw in this first part. Of Work out this, we get the new gross profit as 250,000 Kenyan shillings. So again, we are going to repeat the same, same procedure. 25% of the profit, remember, was used in the next year. So we are going to get 25% of this new gross profit, which is 250,000. And that gives us 62,000. 500 Kenyan shillings. 40 percent of the remaining profit. So what is the remaining profit? What is the remaining profit? The remaining profit is now gotten by taking the new gross profit which is 250,000 minus already the 25 percent that has to be saved for the next year. So this is 250,000 minus 62,500 and that gives us 187,500 Kenyan shillings. So out of this remaining profit, 40% was used as taxes to sort out taxes and insurance. So what is 40% of that? So this is 40 over 100 of this amount that remained, which is 187,500. And by doing that, we get 75,000 Kenyan shillings. So after these people put aside 25% of the profit, 
to invest in the uh, new year's business and 40 percent of the profit to sort out taxes and insurance what amount of money remains what amount of money remains so to get that amount we do the same same thing and this is what we are going to do we are going to take 187,500 shillings minus the amount of money that was used for taxes and insurance which is 75,000 and when we do that we get 112,500 shillings so this is the amount that was left to be shared amongst their contribution to calculate Nangila's share of the profit at the end of the second year. So what is Nangila's share? Nangila's donation or contribution for that purpose is increased and that is 22 out of the total. That is 22 out of the total ratio which is 55 times the profit that is now left to be shared according to their contribution and that profit is 112,500 Kenya shillings so if we calculate this we get 45,000 Kenyan shillings we find this is actually Nangila shares of profit at the end of the second year thank you going. thank you for watching this video if in any case there is a point you didn't understand, please go through it over and over again. And please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please also click on the notification, notification button. Thanks.